most black hair journeys start right here in your mom's kitchen. We're used to going over the sink, getting your hair washed, and preparing for your next style. Whether that be coils, braids, beads, barrettes, anything in between, black hair has seen it. Originally, bl the black hair journey was something you only get to see if you experience it yourself. But now, that has all changed. The black hair exhibit has made it for everybody to experience the black hair journey. Whether that be starting off in your mom's sink or going to get some Bantu knots. Anything black hair is in this exhibit. The black hair experience is over 15 beautiful decorated rooms for you to enjoy a selfie museum and hair journey experience all in one. It takes you through a story from starting as a little girl with barrettes and bows and boxes full of beads to becoming a grown woman to wearing wigs and weaves. Come along with us to the black hair experience as we blast through the past and experience the real journey. Let's see what all the hype is about and you can see it right here on the outskirts of Atlanta. Being a young black woman entering the professional environment, I've always been groomed to believe that my hair is unprofessional and unkempt and that when I enter the building at my job, I need to keep it together. My hair can be just anywhere. So I always kept it in a ponytail, even though that's just not me. I want my curls to be flowing. If I do my hair in, let's say, some type of exotic style, I don't want to feel insecure when I'm walking into my place of work. So I think that this is something that we need to eradicate completely. My hair is not unprofessional. Back in my day, when I had my bedroom, it looked exactly, well not exactly like this, but I had posters, I had the phone. This was my bedroom. Um, this is related to me as a black girl because it's a sacred space. Um, it's very, it feels like a community of black women coming together, understanding the struggles, the negatives, and the positive of, you know, just being a black girl with natural hair and understanding that. Um, they're very excited, very um, happy, and they feel the same way, kind of just like, oh my God, like this is so amazing. The nostalgia of the black hair experience, just the nostalgia of black hair, and just understanding like it's a community and we go through the same struggles regardless of what hair type and everything we go to. Um, being able to witness a museum that captures our culture and our experience surrounding our hair is very impactful. Understanding that my culture matters um, and seeing just my past come to the present. You got the barrettes, the bows, the beads, all that. It's just very memorable. I had one mindset coming here like, oh, you know, I'm going to see, I can take a lot of pictures and stuff, but actually coming here and actually experiencing all the different rooms and all the different, it's like a timeline. And especially where certain rooms you have a whole like bedroom set up, make you think like, you know, women back then, what they would have felt like knowing how it's evolving now. Being able to be, feel comfortable with your hair and actually, like for me, trying to get comfortable with my hair, my curls, I look at other people like, oh, her curls are not mine, so mine are not really cute. It, just coming here and see all the stuff that it shows, my hair matters. I love my hair. Not every hair is the same. They're all important. Just coming here was absolutely amazing and I loved it. Overall, I'm just very grateful that you have unity here. No matter what style you have, you're black, you're beautiful, and that, that shows with this museum. Yeah. Next time you're in Atlanta, make sure to swing by the Black Hair Experience so you can experience the full black hair journey. My name is Aaliyah Dorsillian, and this is GSU TV. Until next time, it's a wrap.